Hi everyone, in today's video I will be doing an application demo featuring the Pinquinox collection from Social Claws. This is a trio of pigments including a holographic pigment, a chrome pigment, and a holographic flakies pigment. Now the samples on this card are done over a black gel polish. Accents Black On is what I used for these. But the samples I'll be doing in today's demonstration are on a lighter pink so you can get an idea of the different tones that you can get with a different base color. So on that sample nail there, I've done one coat of La Chaux True Honesty. So again, we have the uh, chrome the prism, which is a holographic chrome, and petals, which is a holographic flakies pigment. Now, no special tools are really needed for this. These apply very easily, so you'll just need the applicators that come in your, your kit. You can use the finger cot, or you can also use your own bare finger. Now, once again, in our first sample, I've done one coat of La Chaux True Honesty, and I'm going to add a coat of the Accents Shine On No Wipe Top Coat. I'm going to cure that in my Gelish LED lamp for 30 seconds. And the first one I'll show here is the Chrome. It's a very fine micron size. These apply like Butter. These were the this chrome was easily the fastest, smoothest, easiest application that I've had so far. So I just pick up a little with that sponge applicator, get a little bit all over the nail, and then I'm coming through with my bare finger and giving that a light rub over the surface and that nail is done. It's that easy. Dust off any excess and now that nail is ready to top coat. You can see how mirror the finish is. It's quite smooth. It's a beautiful pink. So when you're top coating I would suggest if you're if you don't want to use a hard gel like I have been using to get extra wear, you want to use at least two layers of top coat with your no wipe. You want to float that on so you don't get any lifting of the pigment off the nail. And there is the nail out of the lamp. Again, extremely reflective, very smooth. One of the prettiest chromes that, that Angela's put out so far. Now in our next sample here, I've got, again, one coat of True Honesty, one coat of the Accents Top Coat, and I'm applying the Prism Holographic Chrome with my finger, giving that a good rub into the surface. Dust off any excess before you decide to top coat. Now again, one of the tips I can offer for those of you that might be having problems with chipping is to apply one thin layer of hard gel before you apply your top coat. I've gotten four up to five weeks of wear with no chipping with pigments using this method. So when you apply, just again float that top coat layer over don't overbrush. If you overbrush, that pigment could float up into the clear coat and it will look sparkly and glittery, and you don't want that. So after you uh, cure that hard gel layer, you'll come in with your no-wipe top coat, give that a cure, 
and that beautiful fiery hollow effect comes through gorgeous chrome there in the background now again on this sample I've got the true honesty but on this one I have left the sticky layer intact this is what I'm going to apply the petals into these are absolutely beautiful in person that holographic effect is really quite stunning I'm using the brush end of the applicator that came in my kit and I'm just going to dab those into the sticky surface now I'm not going to do full coverage like I did on the uh, sample card that I showed earlier just so you can show you can see how it looks over a different color just going to kind of fade it down sprinkle them down towards the tip And once you get them placed where you want them, you want to come in with your finger and flatten as much as you can all of those onto that sticky surface. You don't want any little bits sticking up when you go to top coat. And I use two layers of top coat as well with the uh, flaky pigments. I actually find that it almost has like a magnifying effect when you use uh, two coats and it makes them more holographic. So there are samples. Again, the bottom row is over the black. The top row again is over the pink. You can see the tone is lighter. Over the black, the holographic, I, in my opinion, it, it, it is a little bit more fiery. The hollow effect is the chromes they're equally as mirror and the flakies are equally reflective as well all right so for those of you wondering about the colors from the other chromes in the social clause lineup uh, you can see here that the tones are quite different. The left is the Pinquinox. Next to that is Rose Gold. After that is Tea Rose. And the one on the right is Pink Peony. All are done over one coat of True Honesty. And again, you can clearly see that the colors are different. They're very mirror, very smooth but there are no duplications within the uh, chromes, within the pinks and the roses. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the demonstration. If you have, go ahead and like and subscribe. Check below for products that are used in the info section. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will get to them as soon as possible. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.